here we have the Sony AS200V and it is 1080p action cam um, has dual stereo mics on the front you have your previous and next for the menus it has GPS enabled and Wi-Fi on it here at the bottom you have your USB ports and then you also have your HDMI and your line input there that's where your ports are this camera does 1080p at 60 frames per second or it could do 30 frames a second um, 1080p I'll put all the specs below there's when you're recording that light turns right up there for the GPS record button that's a hold now when you power it on here you just hit one of the previous or next buttons or you could just hit the record button and it will start recording right away now I have it in 50p per second because the uh, camera I am filming with right now uh, unfortunately was a European version when I bought it off Amazon I didn't realize that so I have this also set to 1080p at 50 frames per second that's how much time is remaining on your uh, SD card the 5 hours 34 minutes recording at 1080p 50 um, this does have anti-shake and wind um, optimization if you hit next you have your photos you take photos with it uh, you do interval shooting so it's time shooting that's for two seconds that's my shots you take uh, you could do live so I guess you could cast it on the internet um, which I haven't tried so I'm not really quite sure how that works then you have your setup and your enter button is the record button and this was kind of weird about this camera I mean the menus really weird uh, that's the video mode the video format uh, if you have optical steady shot which actually makes it not as wide but I kind of like that because with the steady shot off it's it's so wide you have the big you know the sphere on the uh, you have the big fish eye kind of with all your all your stuff um, you have your color I'm going to color here there's vivid and there's neutral now neutral makes it much more flat um, so if you like post editing you want to adjust the colors you want to do it in the neutral uh, if you just want the camera to just make pretty good bright colors just out of the box and just uh, record something and post it up just use vivid um, I've used both uh, I do like vivid for a lot of things it works pretty well the colors are, are pretty accurate um, but here lately I've been doing more of the neutral and just uh, do some post editing here's your frames per second you adjust your angles Time lapse and the flip is for if you're recording upside down it will automatically put it right side up um, you've seen normal or water um, I've tried water I'll post some video with it up <clears throat> side is this that's the basic camera it's pretty small um, it's stereo recording the sound recording from is pretty good uh, this is my main camera for the channel um, before my new one so a lot of the video scene is with this one it's splash proof um, which means you can't submerge just this you need the waterproof case to put it underwater now this also has with it is this armband or whatever monitor and I'll show you how this works basically the on off is right here you turn it on Put this to movie. Actually, you don't have to since it is synced up already. There is what's recording. So you see me and the other camera. <clears throat> now, what I do like about this is you can also go to the menu and change the camera settings with this which 
is pretty helpful. I have an MP4, you can do XAVC, um, SHD, which is a higher bit rate, I think it's 50 megabits per second, so it's a little more data that you get in there, opposed to MP4. Um, but if you are editing, MP4 seems a little easier to edit if your computer's um, not really that fast. So there's the scene, there's the normal in the water. You could change the white balance, there's auto white balance, and you could change it to anything custom. Uh, your exposure, you could turn your exposure up or down right there. It goes up to two, negative two or positive two. Colors are vivid, the microphone's on. Wind reduction for this recording is on. So this is a nice little little handy thing where if I'm if I want to like set up a shot or whatever this is what I kind of usually go to you could also change the display so right now it is showing was recording you could take everything off show the time and date which obviously is off without the battery die completely here a little while ago never reset it and you can see all your settings there's five hours, 34 minutes recording. It shows you the battery life of the wristwatch and the battery life of the camera, which is pretty nice. But that's the basic over this. Um, I believe this is waterproof, but not that deep. I will have to go check and I'll put the specs on the screen. I really haven't used the watch a whole bunch because I don't do like a lot of action stuff per se, but I have used it uh, just like I said before to line up a shot. And there's also one other way to do that, where I'll turn this off. <clears throat> they do have an app called Play Memories Mobile. And it is pretty nice. I'll do it this way. Oops. Disconnect. For some reason, it disconnected. I right, see it's pretty responsive most times. Skips every once in a while. But you could change. Here's your exposure. You could brighten it up, darken it. It's pretty that simple. You change your shooting modes. There's uh, photo, video, time lapse, and loop recording. In your menu, you have your white balance. You can change right there. Your scene, which is the normal and the underwater. Your color, neutral and vivid. Recording, PS, high quality standard, HS. HS 200. File format. Steady shot on, auto recording on. Camera information grid lines, mirror mode, so there are a lot of options in, in this, but I mean it's most useful for just basically recording, you know, just setting up a shot um, and what you want to do, but so it's, it's pretty, pretty nice little camera um, compared to GoPro, I don't know, I just seem to buy Sony products, um, video quality is, you know, in action cams and really good lighting the quality is very good when the lighting gets you know dim it's it's pretty poor it like looks good on a little cell phone screen when you're doing this uh, then when you go put it on the computer or whatever actually watch it it's it's real grainy has a lot of noise in the picture but for a small sensor you expect that so i'll roll some footage um of the camera just uh, with good lighting and bad lighting i mean if you've seen any of my videos you've seen the quality of, of the camera so it, it's pretty decent and has really good sound quality from the, the microphones but i hope you enjoy this review i will post all the specs and everything in the camera um, i'm not sure if they actually make this exact model anymore but if you're interested in getting one um, i'm not really sure if i do recommend getting the wristwatch I mean, if you ride a lot of bikes or something maybe so you could stop recording it but if you're going to use it just for a, a camera just to kind of carry around or, or use as something secondary, uh, I'd probably just stick with your cell phone uh, to line up a shot or, or put something on and just start recording. 
So, I hope you enjoy the video. Thank <laughs> you.